Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new Kaja Juicy Glass Lip Oils. These are 24 Canadian or 18 US dollars and they are four mils or 0.13 ounces. So when I was buying these, I bought the four shades that are available on Sephora. I didn't realize there was a fifth shade on the Kaja website. Um, it's exclusive to their website. Otherwise I would have got all of them, uh, but too late. So the four shades that I got, Rose Hip Spritz. This is a rose pink. Raspberry Refresher which is a red raspberry. Plum Paloma, which is red plum. And Grape Glotini, which is purple grape. On their website, they also have an additional shade called Apricot Allure, but unfortunately, I didn't realize until I was making the notes that I kind of missed out, so. We're just working with what we got. The first thing you'll notice with this packaging is the cute little heart in the lid that kind of rattles around. Pretty unnecessary, but pretty cute, so I'll take it. The body of the packaging has this kind of frosted glass appearance. It's plastic, but it looks like frosted glass, so it also makes the product inside look more glowy. I also like that it has a sticker on it to show you that it hasn't been open. A couple times from Sephora, I have bought something, got home and realized someone in the store had kind of already opened it and tried it out. So this is a nice reassurance that it hasn't been opened. And then the applicator is just perfect for a lip oil. It's pretty similar. I haven't actually tried it, but it looks really similar to the Dior lip oil applicator. I quite like it. It's perfect for a lip oil. So from the swatches alone, hand swatches and lip swatches, I think these four shades that I got can really be just two shades. Rose Hip Spritz and the Grape Glotini are basically clear and then the raspberry refresher and the plum paloma do have a bit of color but they're so similar that i don't think there even needs to be two different shades it could just be one and the plum paloma is not really plum vibes like it's so similar to the red raspberry but in the packaging they look so different my point is what you see in the packaging is not really what you're gonna get on your lips except for i guess the red raspberry that one translates the most nicely. I wanna show you these lip swatches here too, kind of one after the other so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's the first shade, Rose Hip Spritz. Looks pretty much clear. And then we have Grape Glotini, which again is pretty clear. And then we have Raspberry Refresher. Definitely a bit more color in that one. And then we have Plum Paloma, still more color, but really hard to distinguish between the raspberry shade. My first impressions on the product, first thing I noticed was the scent, it's quite fruity. They're all unique based on which fruit they are, but they smell like that kind of fake fruity scent, which I feel like could be a real turnoff for some people. If you're sensitive to scented products, I would skip these. Immediately when you apply it too, I kind of get like a cooling, slash tingling feeling. Very, very subtle though. Like if you compare to the Too Faced lip injections, that level of tingling, if that's like a 10, these are like a one and it doesn't last very long either. So it's not irritating to me. It is just a slight thing I noticed. <laughs> and then they're quite comfortable, not sticky and it feels really hydrating as soon as you put them on. I feel like it's really easy to not make a sticky lip gloss these days. Like I've tried so many lip glosses, most of them are not sticky. If you're making a sticky gloss, you're just doing it wrong. Onto the claims. So they claim non-sticky, yes, 100%. Hydrating, yes, 100%. I would use these in place of like a lip balm. They also claim to plump the look of your lips, which I do like this wording because a lot of lip glosses claim to just plump up your lips, which literally none of them do. But when you put a lip gloss on, it's going to make your lips look more full. That's just the nature of any lip gloss. And it claims to be high shine, which I'll get into that in a second, but kind of. <laughs> it's high shine for like 20 minutes. And I will show you what I mean by that. Did a little wear test here. Um, these are all in natural light. So the first clip I have is just my lips with nothing. And then I put on the Raspberry Refresher shade. So this is my lips with a fresh coat. And then after 20 minutes, I wasn't talking, I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking. The shine is depleted like 
It is still there, it's just way more subtle than when you first applied it. And I feel like that didn't last very long. And then after an hour, all you're left with basically is the subtle color. So the shine really doesn't last very long, but it's kind of because it's sinking into your lips, I guess. It does make up for that by it being actually physically hydrating, which is nice. <laughs> so to quickly summarize, these are great for hydration, being comfortable, and then for a couple shades, giving you a little bit of color. And if you're looking for a long lasting high shine gloss, these are also not it, but I feel like the hydrating fact kind of makes up for that because it's not high shine, but it's a bit of shine. But yeah, these are a really nice hydrating lip oil option if you are looking for one. That's all I have for today. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried these or if you want to try them, what shade are you going to try? And I will see you next time. Bye. Phoebe, you coming to say hi? Phoebe's coming in. What's your favorite shade, Phoebes? She likes the grape one.